Welcome to Classic Rock Planets, a rather impromptu recording and one in which I select my five favourite Blu-rays. I do tend to buy music concerts on Blu-ray. Um, sometimes a lot of these older concerts like the Stones archival releases tend to be standard definition anyway. But the fact is uh, I do find there is greater scope for expanding the, the, the sound of the music and that you, you get much uh, that it's not as compressed. And for example, some of those Yes Blu-rays sound absolutely incredible on Blu-ray as opposed to the DVDs that I used to have. But more on that in a minute. So with no further ado, my five favourites for now anyway are, there's this one. This is Motorhead Stage Fright. This is the band live in Germany. They had a massive following in Germany and this concert recording uh, that is just so powerful, uh, loud, and everything Motorhead should be really. I mean, the, the later concerts after this, uh, Lemmy's health started to give way. The, the um, concerts got a lot shorter. Uh, there was a debate whether or not they'd be able to uh, actually go on that night in some instances. And you know, you see some of those later recordings like Glastonbury and things like that, where Lemmy looks painfully frail. But uh, being the trooper he was, he carried on, uh, carried on right to the end, of course. But anyway, stage fright. I mean, it's um, Dusseldorf on the Rhine, of course, is where it was recorded in 2004. Uh, it's just a set list. It's just remarkable. It's uh, not only does it look great. I mean, I, uh, I think concert videos, I think everything looks great in, in full HD 1080p, uh, which you don't get with uh, DVD, of course. But often you get DTS, HD, Dolby Atmos uh, soundtracks as well with these things. Uh, so, you know, this, the set list Dr. Rock, Stay Clean, Shoot in the Back, but it's other things that they pull out, like Love Me Like a Reptile, uh, Metropolis is an, uh, an old one, a classic one, of course, but uh, Dancing on Your Grave is is, uh, is one of my favourite motorhead tracks of all time. They pull, this, uh, pull it out for this one. I think Dancing on Your Grave benefits from having two guitars, though, but they certainly do the best they can with it, and it sounds great. And, of course, it comes with, you know, various... Uh, you know, various uh, bonus material and stuff like that, but that's actual disc if you're interested. But yeah, so I definitely have this one on my list as one that I play quite often and thoroughly enjoy. Um, you know, it's, I'd love to have seen, I'd, I'd love for them to do something like, like uh, Orgasmatron or something like that. I'd love to see a lot of those 80s recordings, those 80s concerts that some were actually issued on VHS, actually archived, remastered and uh, put on Blu-ray um, or HD, what's it, it's 4K now, isn't it, of course. This is the uh, Rolling Stones Live in Hyde Park. It's a uh, great atmosphere, and that comes across in the film. A beautiful performance by the band. I mean, the Stones uh, of late tend to put in absolutely great performances. I mean, I saw them a couple of years back at the Rico Arena. Um, and they do, they, they perform. My only criticism of the Stones is that the set list is just incredibly stale these days. There's, there's very little variation in it. It's the same set list they've been touring for the last 10 years it, nothing seems to change with it so uh, the, the only way I'd go and see them again is if they, if, if they came to my hometown or they radically altered the set list I mean one thing I'd love the Stones to do is uh, do like two nights one night would be a standard Stones show and the next one be uh, be deeper cuts I guess but uh, I suspect I often wonder whether it's a lot of it's got to do with being able to remember all this stuff that they have to perform. They're not getting any younger, are they? Especially Keith Richards seems to be making quite a few foobars live on stage these days. Anyway, this one comes in a, a nice slip case, of course. Uh, it's a great Blu-ray. Looks great, sounds great, of course. Um, and uh, there's, there's no surprises in terms of the set list, uh, but some of the bonus, have put a few of the tracks from the concert as bonus extras. For example, Emotional Rescue, Painted Black, and Before They Make Me Run why why they include those as bonus cut cuts so you've got to go back into the menu to select them to play them when you'd much rather have them in the whole show what is the point you must well just have the whole show unedited rather than cutting some songs out and sticking them as, as, as bonus tracks i don't know anyway but there you go but that's my only criticism of, of it it is uh, a dts hd soundtrack and it's a, a really really entertaining show Anyway, there you go, put that one aside. Uh, next one I want to talk about is this one. Uh, this is um, Gothenburg Trilogy, uh, Bruce Springsteen. Now these discs are produced by a guy called DVD Dubbing Guy. He's based in Germany. He's a massive Springsteen fan. And I'm saying massive obsessive, I would say. And he films the concerts. He actually films the gigs. I've got a, a few more of his uh, Blu-rays. 
Now that may sound uh, terrible to you, but the, the fact is he has quite a few people scattered around the concerts. He only accepts HD footage and the sound he uses is the best available. Often they're soundboard recordings, so as he gets the access as the soundboard recording, or he manages to, manages to buy it, because I think Springsteen off the last uh, River Tour he did, he made all those available to buy. And he puts together what often would pass as a prof as a professional uh, pro cam release. But they're just wonderful, really are. I mean, if you want to check him out, it's DVD Dubbing Guy. Uh, check out his videos on YouTube. He's got a website if you're a Springsteen fan. He releases only he only releases stuff on Blu-ray, so it can be full HD. And um, but this is great, especially nights. This is the three nights he played um, in Gothenburg. But uh, you know, it's really really good. These are the individual discs. You can see those nights one and two are the best, I think, in terms of the whole quality of it. But it, it's a remarkable box set. Uh, he d he's done other trilogy box sets as well um, that I would love to have. Now these Live in Montreux series are, the quality is absolutely astounding. I mean the picture quality on this is uh, pristine, stunning, full HD, it really is great. You can see every wrinkle and pore on Steve Howe's Steve Howell's furrowed brow. Uh, you know it's a, great, it's a classic lineup, it's a great set, but uh, I was always, I was never very really happy with the Yes DVDs that I had, I always felt there was something that just didn't sound quite right. And what, what was the problem with them is I didn't feel that Chris Squire's bass was prominent enough in the mix. That changed when I started buying Yes Live on Blu-ray because obviously it's got a much greater capacity for uh, audio and visual content. And the, the audio is great. I mean, I only wish I had a surround sound system. Uh, I don't have a surround sound system. I'm sure, you know, it would really bring this stuff to life. Uh, anyway, I don't have a surround system, but even on my my TV, it sounds uh, sounds much better, and the the pitch quality is great. And yeah, I won't I won't bore you with the the set list, uh, you know, but it, it's obviously it's a set list from the classic lineup from two thousand and three, I believe, live in Montreux. The Alice Cooper one from Montreux is great as well. But these they're all good, really. They really um, uh, roll out the carpet as far as picture and sound quality. Uh, and perhaps one of my favourite Blu-rays of all time, it used to be a DVD, it's been reissued on Blu-ray, is this one, Marillion Out of Season. I've got a lot of Marillion Blu-rays, I've got a, you know, got six or seven of them behind me, but uh, this is the greatest concert of, of them all, the atmosphere, the way it's filmed, it's just absolutely perfect from beginning of the first, obviously the first disc, they do the whole of the um, Season's End album, and it's just a remarkable, Remarkable set, let's say do Ocean Cloud and things like that on, on disc three. But it's just the, the energy and power of the performances and just the way it's captured. I mean, it's not that the, the other uh, Blu-rays aren't as good. It's just sometimes it's those little nuances that, that make it uh, make it better. And of course this band, I'm getting younger, I suppose. This is, uh, for me, recorded uh, in, the, in the prime of the, the Hogarth period. But yeah, Out of Season, Marillion, uh, I think probably my favourite Blu-ray of all time. Absolutely wonderful. Anyway, thank you so much for becoming being a patron and supporting my channel. It's much appreciated. Just leaves me to say um, thank you, stay safe, but more importantly, please do keep listening or watching in this case.